Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome to Stonekeep Bones of the Ancestors. This is a... I'm not going to say sequel, but it is a game in the same universe uh, that takes place sometime after the original Stonekeep, which is a dungeon crawler from uh, back in like 1995 for the PC, DOS, etc. Uh, this game, however, exists only as WiiWare on the Nintendo Wii, and with the Wii Shop channel shutting down uh, in a few days here on, I believe, March 26, 2018, at least in the U.S., uh, I thought, why not immortalize this game in a playthrough? I've never played it. Uh, I've not heard necessarily encouraging things, but that's okay. As a side note, I should probably mention that when I say the Wii Shop channel is shutting down, I mean, one, the actual original Wii, and two, uh, that on uh, the date that I mentioned previously, you'll no longer be able to buy Wii Points, which means you'll no longer be able to buy games. You'll still be able to download stuff uh, for a while longer. Uh, I'm not really sure when the actual entire Wii Online services are shutting down. I'm not sure if Nintendo knows either. So anyway, with that said, I have played a little bit. We're going to do a new game, and we'll have two of the, the most lovely characters to choose from. We can be... A Victor? I wonder, can I change my name? No, I cannot. Or, we could be a Victoria. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and be Victor. By the way, the uh, Wiimote does have uh, some audio associated with it. It's got a speaker on it. So some of that might bleed into uh, the gameplay here. But sure, we'll be Victor. So as I said, this game takes place sometime after the events of the original Stonekeep game, um, but I'm not sure it'll be necessarily directly related in any way you beyond that. You have entered Stonekeep, the home of your ancestors. You are now in the dungeons. An evil force has entered the keep and driven out most of the former residents. Only a true descendant of the clans can solve the mystery of Stonekeep and give the restless souls of the dead peace at last. To survive your journey, you must pick an ally to guide your path. Choose a door to pick your ally and begin your quest. Alright, I think I can probably handle that. So, yeah, we get thrown directly uh, into this room here where we need to pick an ally, as it said. We have three choices. We can pick a Sharga. We can pick an Elf. Or we can pick a Dwarf. The Dwarf's name, I believe, is Doug. Uh, this is Pierre. And this is Scuzz. And the interesting thing about Scuzz is... Uh, I don't know about this being the specific character, but... The name Scuzz is at least a name of a character in uh, the original Stonekeep. So it is pretty dark, I don't know, I may uh, tweak the brightness a little bit at some point. But we'll uh, we'll start with this. I'm going to choose the Sharga as my ally, I don't know <laughs> how much it really matters. Hello! Ah yes, be sure to hold your Wii remote properly to have success in battle. Uh, I've already more or less... Uh, Read all this stuff, so I'm just going to skip through it as best I can here. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So this guy's going to teach us how to fight. Basically, uh, it's pretty simple. You get used to it pretty easily, but you have to hold the A button while you swing. Which is a little odd. Go, go one shot in there, but I think... Oh, did I... Uh... They, oh, no. I have to hit him five times in a row, I think. Which means uh, basically chain stunning your enemy here, which I think we can we can handle. I'm not particularly good at this game. I don't even know if I'll be able to finish it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. We'll see. <laughs> okay, we have passed. His kind will help us on our quest. Amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Looks uh, looks like his face is maybe a little tired. <laughs> Chargas are our allies. We can uh, pause the game. That's uh, that's well. We can jump as well. All right. So the way this works is uh, we run around in these dungeons, and to pick stuff up, we just uh, walk over them. We can also look up and down by uh, pointing both the nunchuck and the Wiimote 
up and down uh, together. Let's see what the scroll says. Let's see. More instructions. Yes, we can uh, quickly do a 180 because we do not move. <laughs> we do not move terribly fast. These healing potions will be useful though because uh, we take damage extremely rapidly in this game. Ah, well, there's a shark right there. The red door is locked. I wasn't trying to go in the red door, but I appreciate the advice. Welcome to. Yes, I, I understand. I will need a key. Thank you. Welcome to maybe the most common enemy in the game. I don't think I've seen any other enemies other than the skeletons. Alright, so we can uh, throw skulls should we choose, but they have another use, so I shall not do so. Alright, let's be cautious. Because sometimes the critters like to sneak up on you. And they don't really make a ton of noise. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Uh, we do also have a, uh, a map here that we can use. And in fact, we may want to actually just turn right around here before we go this way. I believe the enemies do respawn. Uh, or perhaps they spawn somewhat randomly. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we can strafe as well, which is always handy. Yes, the red door is locked. I... Uh, I do understand the game uh, gets a little uh, a little pushy sometimes with the message boxes, which is a little small annoyance. But uh, it's oh, almost you almost got stabbed, my friend. Oh, I think I'm getting attacked from behind. Maybe. Hmm, I guess not. Oh, hello, friend. Prepare for death. Whoop! There you go. There's the first little bit of damage. Not too bad though. By the way, as you can probably tell, um, the game uh, is quite different from the uh, original Stone Keep, which was a, a grid-based dungeon crawler. Also, <laughs> these guys look uh, look a little bit different than uh, their actual Stone Keep counterparts. Uh, but you know, it was an FMV game, or rather, it used FMV type like sprites, so shouldn't be surprised. So this door is going to be locked, I'm sure. So we don't really want to go this way. Fair enough. Perhaps in time. Let's see if we can find ourselves a red key or a green key. We can at least go this way, actually, which is um maybe actually the way we want to go. There we go. And your toast. I'll take that skull. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yes. Another red door. Hilarious. Well, in that case... We will move on. Unfortunately, there is no uh, there's no run button, but we may in time get something that will help us a little bit with our uh, our movement speed dilemmas. Also, I think if we step on this, yes, we will save the game, which is fine. I'm hoping that I can back up my saves onto like uh, an SD card or something. I think I can. Takes a little little bit of effort, but um, that way if I royally screw something up, <laughs> maybe the playthrough will still be salvageable. Uh, at any rate, oh, hello. I'll be taking those if you don't mind, sir. As you can see, we do have like a couple different uh, attacks that we can do, like overhand and from the side and all that stuff. Let's see, let's uh, it clearly squares out. The map is actually grid based, which is kind of interesting. All right. Cannot be open leads to whence I came. You say so. On a side note, uh, I am using component cables. For example, if you were to uh, <laughs> try to uh, look at the uh, the operations guide, as it's called, the uh, digital instruction manual. Uh, the, um, the text is basically uh, unreadable on, uh, on an HD TV, reg a regular modern TV, I guess, compared, uh, with, with, uh, composite compared to component. And component cables are less than, like, ten bucks at the time of this recording, so I highly recommend them if you have a Wii. Alright, well, we found a red key. We've also found 
a boatload of enemies, so I'm going to actually just see if I can convince these gentlemen to uh, kindly come at me one at a time so that I don't die. Because you can take a lot of damage very quickly, and these potions do not last long. Maybe we'll get some armor at some point. I'm not sure. Oop, out. There we go. And one more. Wonderful. You guys are all dead. I have all the loot. And I think it's time to move on. Don't see much else here. Um, not necessarily worried about like filling out all of these squares. I can see everything just fine. So let's move on. Maybe go through here? No, we can't go this way. That doesn't look like a place that leads to whence I came. But uh, if you insist, I guess we better go find one of these red doors instead. Uh, yeah, okay. There's one, I think this one right up here is going to be one of the red doors. Greetings, friend. Yeah, right here. Red door? Red door. Most excellent. Okay. Carefully. Oh, we got a Sharga in here. I, I'm wondering if we would actually just be fighting these guys. I think that's a shield over there, too. Let's see. Hold the C button. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, leather shield can be pierced by spears, burned by fire, and penetrated by m m m magic. So there you go. There's our shield in, in action. I uh, I don't know if it can break. I I hope not. But there we go. That guy's been dealt with. Let's see about. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be another guy here. I did play through the dungeon, but I don't remember. Specifically where everything is. Oh, our Sharger buddy is uh, getting some hits in, so I appreciate that. And we just got our first mana pot, so we got a little bit of MP coming our way. Alright. The, uh, the operations guide, the instruction manual, I guess I should say, uh, does provide some useful information, such as... Uh, how many spells you're looking for in each area, for example? I want to go this way, right? Yeah. Okay, um... So we're looking for two spells here, before we reach the exit. And, uh, I'll look it up for, for next time, how many spells we're looking for in the next, uh, level, but... Beyond that, there is also a hints section of the manual. I haven't looked at that. But I will if, uh, if it becomes necessary. There we go. So we should be able to open this door now. So we have the red key. We do also have an inventory screen. As you can see, we've got our red key, we've got our our dirk, we've got our shield, and a bunch of skulls and potions. Swell. Aha! An opponent. Two opponents. Huh. Don't want to just walk blindly into, uh, into these hallways, that's for sure. Luckily, yeah, the uh, skeletons are not the smartest critters in the, uh, in the dungeon bunch, so... Should be uh, mostly okay unless we get surrounded or something. All right, a couple more pots, and we have a blue key. I don't think we've seen a blue door though. So let's uh, let's keep our our eyes open. All right, you just teleported right in there, huh? Let's see. Any item you pick up will be placed in your inventory. We just looked at our inventory. We don't need to worry about that. I think, though, probably... Yep, there's gonna be at least one enemy here. Go get him! Stab him in the ass! Or in the side, I appreciate that. And here we have the hammer. So I'm not... I haven't really mastered, um... Using, uh, these extra items, but it does do more damage to these skeletons. Oh, hello. There's a scroll right there, too, actually. Oh, all right. Let's see, we have found the ally healing spell. There are probably too many spells in this game, if I had to guess. But, um... <laughs> we, 
we, uh, we're gonna get him nonetheless. And we can't leave the screen until we successfully cast it a few times, so let's give it a try. See if I can cast spells without actually hitting my microphone, though. That would be pretty swell. Here we go. Creating a spell. You kind of see the, the Wiimote, how I'm holding it, uh, in the, the image there. Trying my best. It's kind of hard because I uh, don't have a lot of space here. I mean, the controls are finicky, don't get me wrong, but I'm also not giving them their best uh, opportunity to uh, to work here either. Okay, so we've learned the spell. We could heal this guy. I don't want to. Because that would be a waste of precious, uh, sweet, sweet MP. So to hell with this guy. Hey, you go fight him. Here we go. I love that we can switch weapons basically instantaneously. Very, uh, very useful. Alright. Uh, I just heard something behind me. I thought. Well, maybe it was this guy spawning in. I'm not sure. So it does seem like, I don't know, I don't, maybe the hammer doesn't do more damage per se, but maybe certain enemies are weak to the hammer. Something like that. Like maybe the Shargas. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't take as much damage from it. Not sure what that is over there. Ah, uh, yes, we can view a map. Would have been useful, like, at the beginning of the game. What is this? Food items add to our health. Fair enough. So, uh, that helps out quite a bit, actually. I'll take that. We found the double time spell. It's actually a... Pain in the ass to cast. Also, the spell can be compounded, means that we can cast it over and over to uh, increase the effect. So to cast this goddamn spell, I have to hold left, turn the Wiimote upside down, and do a circle. It is almost painful <laughs> to, to accomplish. However, the spell does allow us to move quite fast and attack quite fast. So, uh... It's worth, uh, worth mastering, probably, as fucked up as my wrist is probably going to be by the time I'm done with this. <laughs> Alright. We have done it. 5% of all the spells. And we can't carry any more health bots. I didn't know that. Oh, well, we might get a chance here. I mean, I guess that's a quality problem to have, after all. We'll take the skull, though. So, yeah, let's, uh... Cast spells. Yeah, so here is the thing. Uh, if you cast a spell wrong, you probably also try to cast a different spell, and this message box is going to come up every fucking time. <laughs> Did you fail? Ice path? Yeah, no, sure. So there you go. You can see the bar in the, uh, the upper left there. And I think it does actually go even past yellow, even though you can't see it. The yellow door is locked. Also, that's a noisy-ass spell. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, we can uh, push this to see the spells that we've acquired. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. I think, uh... It seems like the, these spells might get cheaper as time goes on. Or as you cast them more. I'm not really sure. If I cast it again... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we can run now, so that's... That is uh, extremely useful. Let's take a look at our map. Uh, looks like we do want to go this way. Oh, you gonna get it! Oh, maybe we gonna get it. <laughs> there we go, you have been defeated. Yes, I understand about the health potions. Thank you. There's no, like, options menu in this game or anything, as far as I know. Right, so we can strafe. Good to know. All right. Wonderful. You are also about to become deceased again. I appreciate your cooperation. Don't know if that casts or not. I guess it does. Uh, I'm talking about casting while moving, that is. 
Okay, so... Carefully deal with these guys. We do have a plethora of potions that we can go back and pick up, I assume. I don't think they're going to disappear or anything. Should uh, things end up going terribly, terribly wrong for us here. Oop, I only got one skull out of that. Uh, alright, well... Fair enough, I guess. Definitely just heard somebody spawn in. There's a blue door over there, though. Probably do want the, the mana pots, at least. There we go. Alright, well... Oh, I feel like... Is there something in here? I feel like I remember there being something in this room other than potions. I don't know if there's like secrets in this game or not. If I'm being honest with you. And uh, if there are, I don't know if I'll be able to find them. <laughs> I guess I was wrong though. I guess there's nothing in there. We do have both the spells that we were uh, looking to get, however. Ah yes, stones. So now that we have stones, we don't need to throw our skulls. Uh, which is good. Skulls have the power to save your life. Yeah, so, um, that's why we don't want to... Don't want to throw our skulls. There's also that there. We'll look at that in a sec. I think if I go over here... Ah, yes. A treasure chest with a uh, tutorial scroll in it. Thank you. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to get this rock. There we go. Alright, up we go. So we can't carry any of the health potions that are down here. But we can at least get the mana pots. Maybe. There we are. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Come over here, we'll save our game. And we got a knife. Let's see. From left to right, and then release. I guess is the knife faster than the dirt? <laughs> Because we already had the hammer and we already had the dirk, so I don't... I don't really know um, what the purpose... Yeah, I guess, I don't know, I guess the knife is a little bit faster. Maybe? Maybe not. I have no idea. Anyway, let's, uh, let's head through here. Ooh, look at all that. It's a lot of, lot of loot. Too much loot. We have found the green key. Well, hooray. Oh, he's throwing shit at me. I'll throw shit at you. How do you like that? I, uh, I assume we could probably block those with our shield. Stop, stop running from me, you bitch. Aha! You have been cornered and defeated. I wonder if I can pick up his stones. Um, yeah, I think I can. For, uh, whatever that's worth. Alright. So we have the green key now. I do see a green door on ye old map. So let's go, uh, over there. It's probably... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me? A demand. So yeah, I guess I guess you actually. Oh my fucking Christ! Seriously, I'm uh, I'm pretty confident that I'm casting the spell correctly, game. So that's not gonna get tedious at all. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Here we go. Would have been faster just to walk. All right, Matt. I'm gonna go this way. I feel like there, there's a door right there. Oh, no, I, I see. This is, uh... That's, uh, the other side of the map. Can't carry any more of those. Yes, I realize. Oh, shit. Oh, we can carry one now, I bet. Um... Yeah, give me that. Nothing. Excuse. So yeah, we do, uh, we do also attack faster while, um, while we're under the effects of this spell. There we go. 
Got another potion back. I think we might be full on potions again. Hello. This guy has a shield. Well, that's cute. I'm still going boppy, though. <laughs> I guess here's our opportunity to find out. Yes, we are full on potions. Okay. So, where the hell was the green door again? I think it's actually... I think it is this way. Oh, God. There's a lot of dudes here. In this, uh, in this hallway. There we go. One more. And we're good. No, uh, no skull on that guy, I guess. So that's the yellow door. Um, we can't get through there right now. So we do not have a yellow key. That is my assumption, at least. Okay. Yeah, you get him. I'll just be here. I wonder how many hits it takes. A lot more than it does from us, as a matter of fact. Hey, he did it. Amazing. Should probably help him out, though. <laughs> Just to speed things up a little bit here, if nothing else. Okay. I appreciate that. My friend, stay safe, etc., etc. Uh, yes, we want, I think we want to go this way so we can go downstairs. Those are actually probably enemies on the map, huh? Yes, they are. Oh my god. Glad that they can't come at me more than one at a time right now. All right. Line right up. Free bops to the head for y'all. Uh oh. <laughs> Messed up my, uh, my timing a little bit on that one. Okay. Yeah, so if we go this way... Oh, no, I guess it's, uh... I guess it's... What are, what are these? I'm not sure... What those pink dots represent, I guess, actually. Huh. Well, anyway, we'll move on. Let's see if I can... Speed things up. No? Yes? Yes, I can. Only slightly, though. Aha! So ambush this guy. Oh, ow. This guy, yeah. Uh, got a couple good hits on us. Alright. So the green door was actually right over here. Looks like our friend was uh, victorious as well and got us a free skull, so thanks for that. Oh, look! <laughs> Another key, I bet. We have found the yellow key. Amazing. Is there anything else in here? I don't see anything. Alright, well, in that case... Why don't we get the hell out of here, I suppose? Oh, those pink dots are probably the door being open. That's probably what it was, and for some reason it was pink dots instead of, uh... Instead of an actual line. Maybe some kind of little graphical anomaly or something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, all right. You snuck up on me there a little bit, my friend. All right. So I think uh, maybe we might want to try to locate one more potion on the way out here. Not sure if there are any. We can't go that way, I don't think. Leads uh, to whence we came. So, instead we will uh, go this way, back the way we actually came uh, when we are using our key here. Somebody's in a fight. I guess it must be through the door. Oh no, this one leads to whence I came. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. My bad. Hang on. Okay. Right, so we needed to go up the stairs over by the green door, not, uh, not back in this direction. 
go here, save the game, I guess. It does cost a little bit of MP to cast this spell, but it's not too bad. And then, yeah, we'll go up here. I think this will take us to the yellow door pretty, uh, pretty swiftly, actually. There's a skeleton there. I don't know that we need to actually fight him. We might be able to just juke around him like so. <laughs> and move on. Uh, yeah, the yellow door is here. Just looking to see if maybe there's a potion or something on the ground, but I guess not. Oh, there's a skull that we missed. There we are. Or maybe uh, it's a new skull created by our Sharga. Kicking the shit out of one of these skeletons. So here is the yellow door. Oh, there's a potion right there, though. So we'll try and grab that real fast. This guy's in my way, though. Oh, yeah, we're actually full. Well, never mind, then. I guess let's use our key. You have found the exit to the dungeon. The keys found in the dungeon will not help you in the next level and will be left behind. Fair enough. All right, well, with that, that is the first sort of uh, tutorial level, I guess. Or, well, the tutorial level, the first level, whatever. Of well, Stone Keep Bones of the Ancestors, when we come back, I believe this level is called The Stables. 